Accounts payable and accounts receivable setup in Dynamics GP is really quite easy, but it's necessary. It's necessary to make sure that the system works the way that you'd like it to. So let's take a quick look at it. The first thing I want to do is look at payable setup. To access that, I'll go to Tools, go to Setup, Purchasing, and then Payables. It brings up this screen here, the Payables Management Setup screen. You can see I have an aging schedule on the left-hand side here. This is user-defined. I can have up to seven different periods. I can specify the duration of those periods. I can also change the labels if I want to, to better identify those different periods. So again, I have seven that I can use, or I can use as few as I want to. Also, I have some other options here. You can see those. You can select those, the ones that make sense for your business. But then the next thing I want to do is look at classes. Vendor classes allows me to sort my vendors for reporting, allows me, allows me to group my vendors together, it makes data entry for new vendors a lot easier. And the reason that is, is when I enter a new vendor and I assign it to this class ID, it's going to take on all the defaults that are set up in this particular class. Some of the important defaults are to make sure that the maintain history for these four items in the lower left hand side are checked. Also, when you enter your first class ID, I recommend that you select the default option up here. This will make sure that when you add additional class IDs, if you wish to do so, it will help you enter those. The third thing I want to show you in the payables is to make sure that you set up default accounts. If I hit this accounts button here, this screen shows me all the payables transaction types listed here on the left hand side and corresponding to them are the default GL accounts that are going to be used in those transactions when these transactions are posted in the system. So I recommend that you go through for all these transaction types and specify a def default account for all these types. The next thing you want to do is look at the receivables management setup. To access that I'll go to tools, to setup, to sales, and then receivables. It brings up this screen here, and again you can see I have an aging schedule set up for me. I've got up to seven. I can use as many or as little as I want of that seven. I can specify the duration of those periods, and I can change the labels if I want to. There are some other setup items here. You can take a look at those and see which ones make sense for you. But again, I want to go and look at the classes. I believe it's important to set up at least one customer class so that when you enter new customers, you can assign it to a particular class and that new customer will bring in all the defaults that are added on this particular class ID. I also recommend that you check maintain history for these four items in the lower left hand side. When you enter a new customer class, I recommend marking the default box here so that if you add additional classes in the future, it will default some of that information in. It will make it a little easier. Now, let's take a look at the Accounts button. What you want to do here is make sure that all these transaction types that are in the receivable system have corresponding default GL accounts listed. And all this means is that when I put a receivables transaction into the system, it's going to use these account numbers for the defaults on the transaction. Now, if I want to go back and override those on a specific transaction, I can do so. But it's important to have a default to make sure that the processing through the system works the way that you'd like it to. If you make these simple setups in accounts payable and accounts receivable, Dynamics GP is going to work just the way that you want it to.